Hello and welcome to Mythargia. This is another horror game. Uh, last time when I started trying something, I accidentally didn't hit the record button, and so we're starting over again. Don't worry, I haven't gotten very far in the plot or anywhere. Far beyond what we've seen. The island is indeed where the boys said it will be. There was very little information to be found about what had transpired here. I have to gather enough evidence for my article to convince the public. This will be the story of the decade. Well, first things first. You can just leave right off the bat. Failed courage ending. Arriving at the shores of Mythargia, the island had an unwelcoming presence. Moving forward, I could feel my brave spirit fall into despair. My courage had failed me. Well, thanks for watching my playthrough of Mythargia. That was a new speedrun record. We're in 1.1.2 at Run by Coffee. What happens if I click continue? The island of the Eddie I had saved. Look, we can jump. I should dry my shoes before I go further. I need the key to open that thing. Flashlight, if you're under power, you can add more batteries to your flashlight from the backpack. Alright, we have flashlight. Game Sabed. There's a key, let's see the check key. The Cure! The local sanitarium is researching future drug for curing battle fatigue that has plagued our soldiers. Many suffering from the symptom have volunteered for the testing. We could not reach the good doctor for an interview. Fireplace mat, I need something to burn. Fireplace empty, you need something to burn. Well, there's the paper there you could burn. We got stove wood from the shack. Nothing else to see there. We could leave if we wanted to, but we're not going to leave. Alrighty. We are going to spam the jump button because we can jump. Done all that. Moved stove wood. And now we're hallucinating. Oh. <coughs> Alright, hooded person just kicked some poor guy down into the depths. Do I have anything in what was inventory key? There we go, C. We have a journal entry number one. An old newspaper told me of an experimental drug I've read about before. The soldiers and civilians have returned from the war and their sanity being taken away by the trauma they endured. I only wish there would be a cure for a broken mind. I guess that's what we have. Alright, so we have four batteries, a bandage. And that's it. Morning about batteries. Evidence. As you explore, you can write journal entries and take photos. The entries and photos will be evidence for your article of Mythargia. <laughs> Beware, bear traps ahead. <laughs> I forget what the alt text button is, but there's a way to have this more visible if you're having reading problems. Bear trap. If you get stuck in a bear trap, you can escape by pressing the interact button repeatedly. <laughs> Ow. Damn it. I guess the bear traps make noises. Hey, it's me, but yellow and shooting out <laughs> green fog. We're blonde. One of us died our hair, and I don't know which. Oh, that's new. That's very new. The curse! The sanitarium of Mytharia is the last place you will ever see. The slumber will devour you, and all you will be is nothing. Praise be to the slumber and all that is the island. This will be your last warning. Proceed, and you will cease to exist. Flock, alrighty. I mean, depending on what you believe, ceasing to exist might not be that bad. Just saying. 
Don't trust the outsiders. I suspect that their motivations are not pure, and after confronting Maximilian about it, he pushed, he pushed me into this pit and I can't get out of here. If anyone finds this letter, please bury my remains to my family grave next to my wife, Lily. Gold Smithson. Uh, if we can get your... If we Gabe would let me, I would take your remains out of here to bury them, Mr. Smithson. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Also, how did they climb that far up just to hang themselves? Who climbed that far up to hang someone else for a skeleton? Come to think it, how is their skeleton still attached like that? I feel like it would have fallen apart. That's the wrong key again. Ooh, photos. Journal entry number two. I fell asleep while waiting for my shoes to dry and woke up to one of my nightmares. Okay, so that's what we're assuming happened, but I'm not sure if it was a nightmare or not. Usually my nightmares are locations I can't recognize, but this time it is the very same cabin that does not feel right. And that does not feel right. The article in the newspaper does not make any sense either. It has a warning of sorts to return now or never leave. Why do you have me to return if you lock the door and then block me off with this giant fence of whatever this stuff is? There was a hatch in this cabin that was not open when I arrived. One intact skeleton of one Gold Smithson was laying there in one bloody pool of water down one ladder, and the notes inside his pocket said not to, to not trust to the outsiders. They do sound like an evil bunch. Then it would also ask me to bury his remains to a family grave. I'm not a religious man, but the man should be able to rest in peace, and someone either translated this pretty well and then messed up on the way we use the word bury, or just didn't think about it. Research entry number three, X1, X, X2, X, X, probably number three. It does work. After a multitude of, of experiments and attempts, it, I finally managed to travel to this place. By finding out the right amount of extract, I believe I control exactly where I go. Maybe I can find a way to help my something and the community from it something. Okay. Well, that's entry number seven, so entries number four through six are somewhere here somewhere. In the hellscape, I woke up to found to I. F I'm going to read this as written. In the hellscape, I woke up to I found some sort of research note. That is not how you English, sir. This truly is a nightmare. Help my something in the community from something, all right. But it also took note of the X's, so I don't know if that's a date or something else. Or if we're supposed to count the X's somewhere. Hello, Mr. Skellyman. That tree has a face on it, by the way. To the left of the red cage and right above my head right here. Hello, Mr. Spookums. How are you today? Oh. Well, fellas, it's been interesting, but I'm going to walk away. That, oh no, that's just the bottom of the lamp post there, okay. okay. Ooh. Photo opportunity. Received church door photo. So everything, oh, I can run. So everything here is blocked off. We'll enter the church. <laughs> and we now have a photo. Kneel before God. Oh, we opened the door to get into the church, okay. Hey, another photo op. Received the priest photo. Well, that's us, personal information. We were born on January, February, March, April, May. June 30th, 30th, 1931. Our name is Lithuania. Oh, point of birth. We were born in Kaunas, Lithuania. Our hair color is orange. Our name is Leonis Kairos. That's not a, you know, horror game name at all. Hey look, they've even got the red mist in the photo. This is great. Greetings, stranger. I haven't seen you in these parts before. Can I assist you? My name is Sean, as you can tell from my portrait. Greetings, priest. I'm looking for a way to the local sanitarium. Can you tell me which way to go? But of course! Behind this church, there's a graveyard and small patch of forest. Passing through those, you'll find the sanitarium. It is a big and rather modern-looking building, so you can't miss it. 
You do need this key to get through the gate leading to the graveyard. The key also works for the cabinet next to the altar that should have something to help you with the trip. With your trip. Much appreciated, Mr. Priest. Anything else I should know about the island? I have to say not much happens here as we are a small and peaceful community. I am truly thankful for your assistance in this dreamscape nightmare of mine. Also take this shard. I have not figured out what it does, but I have a feeling it will help you on your journey. Thanks to plot convenience or divine intervention. Take your pick. Thanks, I suppose. I'll check the cabinet if there's something that might help me. No need to hurry, my good lad. You can stay as long as you want. Come talk to me once you are done. Da da da. Oh, hey, we can journal here, too. That's nice. Receive beach entry, no entry number four. So we can check the altar. I don't know what that did, but, uh, did something. Oh, is that the alt text button? Let me double check that real quick. Is R the alt text button? Okay. So there's no text on that, but there's a jar of black liquid. What did that latch do? I don't see any changes in here. I see you found the items from the cabinet. The ultraviolet light should help you keep the creatures outside at bay, or so Vitaly told me. I do hope you find what you are looking for in the sanitarium. Farewell. I'll break that down too. Beach entry number five. What did we write on number four? Outside the cabin view, the view is grim. Sea creatures hovering in the sky and blood rising up on the horizon. Red mist filling the ground and trees look tortured. This is an unusual sight even in my dreams. In the nightmare, I found a church where a priest spoke to me, telling me where to find the sanitarium. The conversation felt so real, I was sure he spoke the truth. We shall see. Things are getting progressively weird. Err! The key to the graveyard gate the priest gave me in the nightmare is in my pocket. He also pointed out that the ultraviolet module should be of use against those blood-soaking things if I am ever to encounter them again. It does not make any sense, as this has never happened before in my previous nightmare. Are there eight miles of this island connected to the real world? We got a UV module. Okay. Oh, this flashlight special then? Oh, cool. So we can get yellow or purple light. Back to the regular newspaper again. Go check on our boat and make sure it's still there. Alright, the boat is still there. We no longer here. Alright, the boat is making weird noises, but we no longer have the option to leave, apparently. For whatever reason. Oh, I see. Yeah, it was the bear trap making the noise. We need the flashlight to see it. We can climb just by walking up to things. Very nice. Now would be a good photo opportunity. Great photo opportunity, and we did not take it. Need the tool to dig up whatever is buried here. I don't know what you are and why you keep vanishing in front of me, but bye, I guess. Okay, so you need the flashlight out if you want to see that at all. Hey, look, dead guy. I should not have come here. I managed to escape the townsfolk, but one hit me with a shovel and I'm bleeding bad. I found evidence that Priscilla is being kept locked up in the sanitarium for her own protection. I don't buy it. I managed to raise the bridge and hide the lever so no other unfortunate soul will share my fate. Priscilla, forgive me. At some point, we should hopefully see the, uh, church. And then figure out what that lever did, unless... That was what that was indicating is the hidden lever. 
I like they don't have to go and select the item, I just get the, uh, oh no, we got the lever here. I didn't take the thing out of it. So there's two more beach photos to take and one more entry to get. And then I will show you the interesting feature this game has that so far I like. They made it maybe five or ten minutes past here when I put it. Uh, failed to, oop, that was a thing. There we go. Old skeleton photo. Yeah. What the hell is this? This is a photo opportunity. This is gonna look great on my Instagram. Totally haunted guy. Ooh. That completes the beach. I did not get one of the stuff that failed to record. After going through the woods, I found a peculiar sacrificial altar. A skeleton was tied to the stone with the ropes upside down and dried blood from the victim was covering the stone. Either time or local wildlife had done its tricks to this poor human. In my research, there was no information about this kind of activity amongst the islanders. Is it the experimental drug-making people act like savages? Or was this long before the time of the first settlers? Old skeleton. Guy. Pointing church door, and now we match up. So we got a credibility meter. Ooh, we can save manually. Nice. Uh. Oh, we can pick which things to interact together. That's neat. And then here's the uh, alternate text view. If you pixel or it's not coming out right, which is a very nice feature. I don't need it, but it's nice. So you can match up the picture and the. Um, text that you want. So at some point we're going to need something, a picture to match this void. This is the island. The outsiders, the sanitarium, the flower. Oh, that's interesting. I'll skip you experience was called The Void. Some details were identical to the real world, but the mood was like from a nightmare. The void feels very real, even though your mind says it can't be. The tortured trees and red mist made me feel unwelcome to the void. I could interact with the world and talk to the locals, but I could not travel anywhere I wanted as the thorny bushes were blocking my way. So there's 30 out of 100 credibility. Okay, and I can save partial bits here. That's interesting. So I, get if, I guess if I get other photos, I can do different combinations here for different pages. Neat. I like that. What's this say? No, oh, I'll tell you yeah, what I just covered. So we have the content selection. You pick content for each page, and then you go to each page. Matching photo and journal entries. Is there a way to match photo and journal entries? No, it's, you have to have a matching. Okay. Whatever. Onward into the island. That is probably a pit of death. I see you. I keep my eyes peeled for anything useful along here. Yes, whoosh and vanish to you too. Got bandages, alright, so that'll help us recover from our uh Bear trap incident. I can see buildings. Maybe this was too quick to read. Maybe this was a village set up or something. I don't know. You can pause it. Later. Subjects wanted. Mythargia Sanitarium is looking for test subjects for new drug against combat fatigue. Support our soldiers by volunteering to find the cure. Visit the front desk for even more information. I can see something inside, but the door is locked. I can see a ladder, but it's broken. 
What was that? I'm sure we'll hear any potential bear traps. Yep, heard one right there. Well, let's not approach the green mist because we know what that does because the one guy that blew it on us. And instead, go bear trap jumping. It's the hottest new craze with all the kids these days. Looks like this place has been abandoned for decades. What happened here? Photo op! Town well. What other two things have I not gotten photos of yet in the town then? Well, maybe I need to go through the green mist to get them. Hey, look! Town entry number two. Oh, number five. I found a flyer at the site of a barn asking for test subjects. I assumed they had their fair share of test subjects from the mainland, so why would they need islanders to participate? I'm starting to wonder if they even got anyone from the offshore for testing. The town was old and abandoned decades ago. It seems somewhat modern, reflecting on how long it must have been without its residents. While the solitude on this island is intoxicating, there is a real sense of dread growing in me. The nightmares and the connection to the real world seem so unnatural. I have to think, should I tell about them in my article about this island? So do we mention all our nightmares and come across as a crazy person, or do we mention all the weird factual stuff and come across as a different kind of crazy person? Westins indeed. Received rest in peace photo. Alright, so there's three photo, two photos earlier in the town, somewhere. There's a journal entry. Let's read those journal entries real quick. At the other end of the town, there was a house that had two skeletons in it. Seems like one died of some sort of ailment, and the other one did not care and kept on living there. Losing the, own, losing the one you love can break the spirit of anyone experiencing it, and I believe that this is what happened here. I can't find any information about the people that, who actually lived in this house. Maybe we'll find the info elsewhere. Or I'll find the info elsewhere. So the island photo is far more credible than the town photo. Interesting. The true miracle was an extraordinary flower so far only found in Lotharia. The local floor was discovered by Dr. Vitali and the flower could make you experience events, past events. There was a way to extract the nectar out of the flower. With the liquid it was possible to get a glimpse to a pretty accurate point in the past. The flower was a discovery of the decade. That one's worth three. Photo's worth eight. I go with the, oh, it's a photo paired with an article. I gotcha. So as I discover evidence, as I discover photos, I also have to discover journal entries. The game will automatically pair them, and then I need to pick which thing I've found it gives me the best uh, credibility implies it's best to discover everything you can rather than just some. That is a trap. But you know what? Jump. Hey look, it's the church. Hey look, it's locked. Oh. We can go to the graveyard now or go to the graveyard later. Received church cross photo. Even further in one. Oh, it's bent. That's not good. What happened here? I got abandoned in a battery from something. Oh, I did not notice this earlier. We have gone, or maybe it wasn't available in the nightmare. We have gone too far into the darkness that there is no salvation for us. There is no talking sense to my fellow islanders. By taking my life, I am doomed to eternal damnation and still I don't see another way out. God forgive me. Do what you gotta do when you're in the horror game. 
I would personally just, you know, use the UV light myself. Here, look, more photos. Oh, crucified photo, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Donated to the townsfolk of Mythagria by Andreas Gilliman IV. Gillisman the Fourth. The bell will always guide you. That's ominous. Mr. Guiding Bell. There was an inscription, the bell will always guide you, in the church bell, saying that it was a gift for the village from one of the founders called Andreas Gilliman IV. I can understand the church being a meeting place for the community, but for the despair I've uncovered so far, it does seem like God had little business here. Yeah! Nothing new from all that? Interesting. Oh, poor preacher. Wait, did the void get new info or no? No, that's not new info. Alright. We got something from that weirdo. Where's my way down, by the way? Or right here. Oh, That's just sad. Hanged priest photo. Can I put that in my article? No. Oh, I can. That is... Preacher man. Town entry number seven. This thing had black fluid in it, now it is empty. Noted. I don't know what that did. Unless maybe you weren't supposed to be able to activate it in the dream and then doing something here activated it? I don't know. What's this new town entry number seven? The church was exactly like in my nightmare, though it had seen some years of being unattended. The priest I talked to was hanging at the end of a noose, having exactly the same clothes that I saw. Never before have the nightmares been so accurate with the locations of both worlds. So that's two points less credible than uh, the one of him in the red mist, but okay. So I'm guessing we don't want to go to the graveyard yet because we still have so many town clues to unlock and also, I did ignore a giant spooky mushroom thing. But it does take us to the past as far as we're aware, so presumably it's not too evil? Maybe? Oh, god damn it. Thought I was going to hear that before I got into it. use one bandage. That's a decent amount of health. Uh, did I read this already? The long wait. I can't wait for the baby to be born. We've been waiting for this moment for so long with my beloved Vitaly that it feels so miraculous. I don't know, is this some side effect of the pregnancy, but I have so hard a time remembering things like I did. Like, did I do my daily chores around the house and where I put this and that? Hopefully my head will be more clear after the small miracle is born. The time is near. I can't remember. Where's my Vitaly? Did he even mention where he has been all this time? His obsession with that flower is cute, but it's beginning to be too much with the baby coming soon. Should we name the baby Ilarion or Elena? I feel so tired. I better get some more rest. Rest for the days to come. Oh. Photo flower. Flower photo. Huh. Wait, where's my flower photo? You said I got flower photo. Flower photo? Oh. That's interesting.
Oh, there it is. I don't know why it's not showing up in my documents, but uh, yeah, there we go. <coughs> With that, we'll uh. call it an episode. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Saved. <laughs>